I've been a fan of pro wrestling since uh, since I can remember, basically. Um, I always watched pro wrestling on like some of the afternoons when I was a kid in my granny's house. And uh, yeah, um, one day when I was in uh, third year, shortly after my junior cert, a friend of mine said that he's after finding a pro wrestling school in Ireland, and he asked if I would be interested in joining. And I jumped at the chance. Now it's not a very glamorous story, but that's basically how I got involved in pro wrestling. Hey, my name is Sean South. I've been a professional wrestler for eight years with Fight Factory Pro Wrestling. And this is what's in my bag. Well, training today. So we've got our nondescript three strike brand sports shorts. Um, we've got knee pads, particularly important when you're pro wrestling because, well, your knees take a beating. I've had these particular knee pads for about, not all my career now, but I've had them for the past four years or so. It cost me about 70 brick, but they were worth it because they lasted. They're holding up pretty well, except for a bit of scuffing and all that, you know? My first uh, two weeks doing this, I had a constantly stiff neck, I couldn't move my head, you know what I mean? And I had constant headaches, just because your body's not used to rolling on the ground, your body's not used to like landing on your back, and it's not used to being shook up so much on a regular basis, so it does get to you for the first while, you know what I mean? But you get over it, it's, it's a matter of just getting used to it. And um, no, not during matches, I wouldn't wear these for matches, I wear actual wrestling boots for matches, but wrestling boots are ridiculously uncomfortable, they have a two inch lift to make me seem taller, and. No, I wouldn't wear them for training, they're not something you want to wear all the time. And uh, my iPod, which is, if you'll notice, an absolute brick. I've had this iPod since um, my first year in wrestling actually, it's a seven year old iPod. And um, yeah, it's lasting me well. Yeah, well, not even for pumping up, it's just a personal thing, I'm a, I'm a big music, music fan. But uh, yeah, I used to, um, before matches I'll always listen to a bit of music, I'll always try and psych myself up a little bit, you know, getting character or whatever you want to call it mm -hmm. and uh, yeah the iPod's handy for that. I've changed a lot over the years. I started off as a, a regular like cocky lad or whatever you want to call it and then I was a, a, a regular good guy just basically myself but then recently um, I've changed up a bit. I started listening to a lot of punk music about four or five years ago and uh, I decided ah, I'm just gonna mess around with my gear and I got gear based off the you know Misfits, the mm -hmm. Crimson Ghost design. I got gear with that on it and decided to go with a bit of a punk gimmick. And um, it's done me well over the past few years. And no wrestler's bag would be complete without a protein shake. You can't be 120 pounds, you can't be a six stone lad when you're wrestling, you know what I mean? There's, there's no place for that really. People want to see people who are larger than life. Now I know I'm not exactly larger than life, but I'm trying to be, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, you have, you have to take care of yourself seriously, you have to take your health seriously. You have to um, get into the gym, put the hours in, you have to get your food right. 